Hello and welcome to BusyWorksBeats.com. I need you guys to smash the like button. Today we're going to dive into Southside Style from 808 Mafia. He created a lot of influence when it came to trap beats. So let's hop straight into FL Studio. You guys will get the project files for free. Just go to BusyWorksBeats.com slash FL Studio. The link will be in the video description. And if you don't know me from a hole in the wall, I'm game from BusyWorksBeats.com. We train over a million producers around the world. So I'm going to work with Drake, Kanye West, Post Malone, Ariana Grande, French Montana, Young Thug, Polo G, Lil Baby, Trippy Red, uh, J. Cole, Kendrick Lamar, and a long list of other folks. So let's hop straight into FL. All right. So the key to the sound, in my opinion, is the 808. Um, if you guys just have the wrong 808, you're not going to sound like Southside. Okay. So just save your time trying to make a terrible 808 sound good. You have to have the right 808. Um, I have these in our Discord. Just go to discord.gg slash busy works beats for my go-to drum kit go to busyworksbeats.com slash fl studio look at the sounds folder because i have the um this hard snare that they used so let's trim this and we're going to use the hard snare and then we're just going to use some metro hi-hats metro booming and then we could use this snare as a bounce snare now the 808 here is a little short but i'm going to open it up anyway and again you guys will get the project files for free so the first thing is just getting the right impact on the 808 let's find one that has a nice transient energy to it if i can't find any i'll just use my go-to this one might work so we're gonna go boom 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 okay so let's record that one two three four boom 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 So I just did a little like change ups at the end. One, two, three, one, two, three, like that. I'll show you guys how to quantize triplets. So at the end here, I did what's called a triplet. We're gonna change the snap to grid to one third beat. Then hit control Q to quantize to the grid, which is one third beat. Then you wanna highlight the other notes and just hit control Q. Let's start sending sounds to the mixer here. To control L. Now in Electra X, uh, this has a lot of moving sound. So if you go to browse, I'm under the arpeggio rhythm. I'm on the first patch here. And basically the default patch had like this kick sound to it. Here it goes like doof, doof, doof. Okay, so on synth four, if you turn that off, you don't have that kick sound anymore. So now we can layer this in. All we're basically gonna do is play, uh, let me figure out, let's add our 808 to the mix. Let's turn it up a little bit. We need to figure out a note that matches our 808. So to preserve the clipping for the video, let's add Fruity Soft Clipper. I would recommend Gold Clip is the best sound, but for now we're just gonna use Soft Clipper. So I'm just playing a half step, meaning one note above, one, two, three, four, two. Okay, so really basic and okay so now we have that in the MIDI what we could do is now quantize that hit control Q to quantize Okay, so that's the backbone of the sound. Now we could just really just add pretty much anything to go over top of that. It could be flutes. There's no formula um, as far as like the sound. He is, he's changes up his sound, so it's not the same thing every single time. Um, but let's go here, let's switch this. What we're gonna do for the hi-hat, right click, fill each two steps. Now one thing you can add are hi-hat rolls. I'll show you guys a faster way in FL Studio to do hi-hat rolls. Let me line this up first, boom. Right click, fill each two steps. And then we could use the graph editor right here in FL Studio 2024. They now have a note repeat tab. And basically you could add hi-hat rolls straight from the channel rack. It saves so much time. So, but the, 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 so any note I want to accent, we're going to make it a hi-hat roll. Let's push this A-way a little harder. 
808T pushes them really hard. Where it takes up a lot of the mix. As you guys can probably feel, the 808 is like dominating this track. Uh, but that is part of the sound. So let's add the snare on the three and seven. So it's one, turn the metronome on. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Really basic trap pattern there. I'm going to pull this down one. So it goes doom, set of doom. So let's pull it down like a whole step. Let me pull this up an octave. It's hard to hear. Dun. Okay. Only thing is we lost some of that density of the 808. So the tricky part about an 808, depending on the sample, most of the time it's just good at whatever the C is for that sample. And then outside of that, it could usually fall apart. So I might pull this arpeggio down instead of playing A. Let's play C. Now it's a little bit. Now let's find sounds we can layer in Electra. Now from here you guys can add piano. I mean, there's no like rhyme or reason. Let's see what else we have in here. Let's do keys. Start at the top. So we're trying to stay away from buzzy sounds like this that has a very full, dense, detune type sound because we already have our sound. Uh, so we're trying to stay away from more sounds like that. That would be a cool sound. It's more of a metro sound to use like bells like that, but let's... So let me see if I can play this with my typing keyboard. Let's go up an octave. So this would be our top line. With beats, there's four layers. You have a top line, harmony layer, contrast layer, and a rhythm section. So far we have the contrast to the bass. We have the rhythm section, which is a drum. And uh, we have our, I'll call this a harmony, even though we're not playing a harmony. So now we need top line. So let's add this bell in as a top line. Let's record this. I kind of messed up the rhythm, but whatever. Notice I played that by hand to have that bounce. So I want to change that last note for dun, pull that down. I want to show you guys the bell's not perfectly on the grid, and that's what gives it that bounce. If everything is on the grid, it's gonna sound stiff and not bouncy. So here it's like the notes are a little to the right off the grid. They're not perfectly quantized. Let's go back. But notice the more sounds I add, the less impact the 808 has. So the more sounds we're adding, the less, you know, huge the 808 feels. If I turn off the bell. So we're pushing the 808 really hard. to where now the 808 is distorting the other sounds in the mix. So now we need like a background flute. You could create a change up. So let's try adding like a little change up in the song. Again, there's no like formula. Usually it's gonna be a Reese bass, like that Drake bass like a softer bass instead of the 808. I don't know if Electra has, that's definitely not a soft bass. That's a cool sound, but I'm not sure. These are a little bright. We could try something like, something like that. So what we're going to do is take out the 808. Find the key. Now my ear wants to hear down. Now my CPU is going nuts here. So let's record that. 
just as a change up let's record this now keep in mind we're we're at um double time so i'm going to spread this out so it's on this part of the song because 16 bars is really eight bars so let's add this in kind of let that note hold This will create the tension. So it's called Tresio. And then we're using that half step. Now some of these notes need to be quantized. At this point we need to ask, do the notes need to overlap for the effect of the pitch bending? So let's hit Alt-Q. Now to switch it up, we're going to create like a snare roll. Let's make this unique at the end here on pattern five. Actually not pattern five, pattern six. Click there, make it unique. And then we could add like a little snare ending just to tell the ear to like, we're wrapping up this part of the song. So that was triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three, like that. We're going to go to snap to grid triplets, quantize it, hit control Q. And what we could do to kind of make it more unique is go to the bottom left, go to note repeat. If you don't see this, grab the ellipses, left click, pull that up. And then we can use note repeat on each part of the triplet. So it can go like. Here the entire So now I'm going to create change ups for the ear. We're not going to make an entire beat here, but I'm going to use a lot of that tresio. So it goes doom. So that was the note I wanted, but I had no repeat on. So let's turn that off. So it goes dun, 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 dun. So now I'm just going in and changing up the notes. Make sure that's on the grid. I had that on triplets by accident. So we got to line this back up. We're just hitting Alt to nudge it around. Hit Control Q to quantize. So, dun, 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 which is a half step. And we can go back down. Now here we could do that note repeat again. So it goes brrrr, like that. That's just my own little technique. That was dope. I did that by accident, but that doom, the do doom sound sounded dope. So I'm gonna copy that. That was pretty dope. I did that by accident. Let's double click. So it's doom, the do doom. Added a note over top of a note there.
pretty much the same thing. So what we're going to do to add a little variation is add one more synth in here. We're probably going to take out the bell so that it doesn't get overwhelming. Or we could add a sound effect like halftime or something to switch up the bell. So there's again, there's no right or wrong way to do this next step. Let's just pick a different sound here. Let's do like a lead or something and then just clicking on random presets. Forget what key we're in. So now it's going to record that one, two, three, four. So that was more of a um, Arabic scale approach okay to do that whole step like that the whole step plus I call it so now let's um, change out the sound let's see what happens if we take out the arpeggio how much that could be a flute there's again there's no right answer you guys could add flutes just kind of any sound effect that gra that changes up the beat let's go through presets here this one sounds dope
so I added my plugin called Hades at busyworksbeats.com slash Hades. Here's without the plugin. Everything just kind of sounds like it's just there. But I want more, but I want more dimension in the sound. Everything just sounds kind of like it's doing something, but it's not, there's no dimension to it. Now here's with my plugin called Hades at busyworksbeats.com slash Hades. If you want these project files for free, go to busyworksbeats.com slash FL Studio. Shout out to Southside and everybody else at 808 Mafia. We appreciate you guys for moving the culture in a crazy way. All right, guys, go to busyworksbeats.com slash FL Studio. See you guys there. Peace.